hello, hello. All the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. All the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. And I'm going to be reading the second book of Adam and Eve, The Forgotten Books of Eden. And this is going to be chapter 10. I'm going to take this all up to the Lord in prayer and ask Him for guidance, wisdom, and knowledge, and understanding. And always turn to the Lord with all your heart and soul and ask Him for guidance, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. For the Holy Spirit is your teacher. And, and you should do that every time before you read God's Holy Word or the Apocrypha, the, remove, the books removed from the Bible, or when you're doing research for God. Always turn to the Lord and ask Him for guidance, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Let's begin. And the title of this chapter is, Adam was the first. Hallelujah. And when they had ended their prayer, the word of God came and comforted them concerning their father Adam. After this they offered their gifts for themselves and for their father. And when they had ended their offering, the word of God came to Seth, the eldest among them, saying unto, the, unto him, O Seth, Seth, Seth. Three times, as I was with thy father, so also shall I be with thee until the fulfillment of the promise I made him. Thy father saying, I will send my word and save thee and thy seed. But as to thy father Adam, thou keep thou the commandment he gave thee and, and serve thy, sever thy seed. From Canaan thy brother. And God withdrew his word from Seth. Then Seth, Eve, and their children came down from the mountain to the cave of, cave of treasures. But Adam was the first whose soul died in the land of Eden, in the cave of treasures. For no one died before him but his son Abel, who died murdered. Then all the children of Adam rose up and wept over their father, Adam, and made offerings to him one hundred and forty days. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All praise and glory to God. All praise and glory to God. And God told Seth to keep, to keep himself and all his, all his children, all the generations after him, away from Canaan's seed because Canaan's seed, you know, his bloodline, Canaan's bloodline because it was tainted. He told them not to have anything to do with him. Canaan was a murderer, and his blood was, was purely evil. And he did not want them mixing in with them at all whatsoever. Understandable. Which is just like nowadays. God doesn't want his true children marrying and having children with, with those who have taken the mark of the beast. For like Canaan, their, their genetics is not pure. It has been altered and changed. For as it was in the days of days before the flood of before the flood, Noah's flood is so it is is today. It's basically a repetition. But back then, it was a it wasn't like um like today, but it was still the same. The Canaanites were of Satan's seed, and so therefore, God did not want his his two children, which were the son the the sons and daughters of Seth mixing in with them. He told them to stay on that holy mountain and stay away from them and do not mix their seed with them. But God knew one day they would be tempted beyond their belief and that they would leave the holy mountain and come down and mix with the children of Seth, as it states later on in the second book of Adam and Eve. And the only ones that did not mix and have children with the, with the sons and daughters of Canaan was Methuselah and his wife, Lamech and his wife, and Noah and his wife, and his sons, they married the, the daughters of Methuselah, who were pure blood. So they all had pure genetics, because God did not want um, the children of Canaan um, continuing into the new generation. But take this all up to the Lord in prayer and ask him for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And Yeshua Yamahasha is coming.